Well, this March of Dimes involvement, as well as the Wounded Warrior Project, mm. um, what, what else, uh, if not, I shouldn't say what else, because this is plenty enough, but uh, tell us a little bit more about, about your overall involvement. In other words, you raised a lot of money, you helped raise a lot of money for Wounded Warrior. What about March of Dimes? What is, what is the goal there? What, what, what are they trying to do there? Besides, every organization needs money. What else does March do of Dimes... We do, too. Yeah, we do, too, actually. <laughs> what else does March of Dimes, in, in your mind, mean, mean to our, to our uh, listeners and watchers here, our viewers? Well, March of Dimes, it, it's just one of those organizations where you can't go wrong, donating to it, volunteering, helping out. I mean, it's children, it's little guys who need help. Um, mm -hmm. It's families that need help. Yep. And uh, the Rhode Island chapter is great. Um, so you can donate directly to the to the local chapter, and which means you're impacting our community right here. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So. And, that's a, and that's a good, wonderful perspective, too. That wasn't exactly the answer I thought you were going to give me along the lines, but it was better than what I had in mind, because you're, you're so right. It's so true. Uh, what they do and their involvement is, is, is widespread, and they touch a lot of families and a lot of lives, and they do wonderful things. And that's, that's what the Aid Foundation is about. That's what Reach Out is about. Yep. Poppy and I are here volunteering like everybody here does. And we're trying to reach out, not to be corny, but that's the truth. We reach out to the community. Not to be uh, candy corny. Candy corny. <laughs> to find out, to, <laughs> to, 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 to let people realize the good people in the area that are doing things to help one another. It's not all, only about, we're, we're so money generated. And look, I'm a capitalist, you're a cap. This is what makes our society run and do what it does. We all need to earn a living. But besides that, there are people that just can't. And they need our help, and they mm -hmm. need people mm -hmm. like you, the viewers, to, to let us know that you watch, let us know that you care, because we certainly do. We care about you, and we hope you care about us and what we're trying to do. Peter, now, I've eaten 12 of these now. Now, how, how long will it take to get out of my system? Sugar, to get sugar out so you can really start. Well, sugar's not the enemy. I mean, you need sugar. It's your fuel. Re any kind of sugar? The problem is we eat too much of it. Oh. So. Like, is this too much? What are you doing for the rest of the day? I might go to the gym. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm betting not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have my gym bag in the car. I play racquetball. I got yeah. a tea bag in mine. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, Bobby, he's new oh, here. Oh, oh, my God. No, she's, see, the sugar's she, making me she's crazy. She's overdosing <laughs> on corn, candy corn. No, but I found I couldn't really diet until I got my sugar out of my system. You know, I was talking to a kid last night, an eight-year-old kid at my door, that said if you melt candy corns down and yeah? you put them in a pipe, you can smoke oh, them. Oh, stop it. <laughs> No, but you're just getting a real fast insulin response. Mm -hmm. And the problem with that is that you're not doing anything to use that insulin. You're not using your muscles mm -hmm. for energy. So that sugar is just going to go right into storage. So you, go, you mean go right I into fat? soda is going to be Correct. one of the most fattening mm -hmm. things on the planet. People yeah. drink soda in this room. They drink so much soda. I think it's wheat. You think it's wheat? It's wheat. Which worse, wheat, sugar, or soda? Nutritionally, which what has the least amount of nutrition and makes us gain the most weight, I think yeah. is popular. Well, yeah. one, don't ever drink your calories. Yeah, I agree. Don't ever drink I your agree. calories? Yeah, that's why. I have to completely agree. It doesn't fill you up, doesn't tell your brain to stop, that you're full, uh, and it's just a really Our thirst mechanism fast is method totally to different. ingest too many calories. Uh -huh. exactly. Okay, so exactly. don't drink your calories, all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what about the question between wheat, sugar, and well, soda. wheat, wheat is, it's a grain. It's fibrous. It's yeah, well, okay, muffins. Let me just go with muffins then. Oh, okay. So if you're going to put sugar, salt, and fat in combination, yeah. mm. there's a recipe for disaster. Muffins and are nowhere bad. And in, nowhere in nature do you find that combination. No muffins in nature? Yeah, see, if, if it's processed, <laughs> just don't eat it. If it's processed, don't eat it. Oh, my goodness. That's a, that's a very good point, that's though. A, that's I try to stay away from processed cheeses but and isn't stuff myself. That that, that's a raw diet, isn't it? Well, no, I mean, you can put chicken and peppers and onions and oh. potatoes and rice, whatever, together. I'm mm -hmm. hungry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just don't want to buy it in a bag and a box already done for you. I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I totally agree. And I think what uh, Peter just said, Mr. Holmes, just said regarding drinking your calories is a profound thing because uh, I, I, I have this thing about soda. I don't... I, I, I can't tell you the last time I drank a glass That's of bad. soda. Soda's bad. I, I, I do drink fruit juice once in a while. Mostly I drink water, and I drink, um, I happen to drink green tea, iced tea, green oh. tea, which I kind of like for my diet, and I like for my sis overall system. Uh, I'm not the biggest health nut in the world, but I've lately started to re realize that as I get older, I've got to take more care. My body just yeah. doesn't 
it doesn't rebound the way it used to. It just doesn't react hmm. in ways that I that do I. Do you find that people react better to you? Uh, do you push people at your gym to to do what they're supposed to be doing, or do you just let people do their own thing? Depends if they want results or not. Yeah, because if we want results, you got to get pushed, right? You just have to do the right things. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the motivation can come from an external source or internally. Most of the time when I talk to people, it's about commitment and goals mm -hmm. and balancing your life. So it's a quality of life issue and where you are now, where you want to be, where were you five years ago, here you are now, where do you want to be five years from now? Do you want to be able to still do the things you're able to do now? Yeah, I mean, you got some pretty good guns going and I don't know how old you are. I'd like to know. I don't know if you want to tell people. I just had a birthday. I'm 58. Very nice. You got some good looking guns. I'm getting nervous about skin that is starting to like be a little Doesn't have the elasticity off used to have, does it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. what can you, it, does working out get the elasticity back? Like if I build a muscle, will my elasticity come back? Yeah, the problem, we're all faced with the aging issue. So, and your body changes as you age. Uh, but exercise, let me go back a step. Movement is the key. Mm -hmm. If you want to live, you have to move. And if you stop moving, you start dying. And it's as simple as that. Wow. And there's nothing at the cellular level. Everything's in action. And everything's moving around. That's right. And when it's not moving around, guess what? Sedentary. It's dead. Oh, my God. I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to die. So, oh. <laughs> if you stop moving, your quality of life starts to decline. How, how much okay. moving do I have to do, Peter? I, I, I'm getting concerned here. Well, I'm not getting your any case, younger, buddy. You lost a lot of weight, and it, it's great, and that's from a health reason that motivated you to do it. Yeah, now it you have to turn it around a little bit and start building some muscle. Yeah. Because oh, really? muscle is so the key. So you can always build muscle even as you get uh, older? You can always yeah, build that's, muscle? We have 80, 85-year-olds, 87-year-olds training with me. Wow. Two, three times a week. Wow. Uh, you wouldn't, you'd say, my goodness. Yeah, wow. That's, that's exactly great. what that's you'd say. Say, so I, I want to tell my mother, I, uh, mother, you've got to get moving. Get up, stand up right now and jog. Yeah, mom and dad, <laughs> oh, you hear that? Maybe mom just move dad? from the, go walk from the living room to the kitchen five times. Really? You don't have to jog. My mother okay. runs no from jogging. 6.30 in the morning the to 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> Peter, I wish you, we had more time. We're just yeah. about out of time. But Darn I wish it. we had a bunch more. Uh, you've been wonderful having you here. I wish you the Wounded Warrior Project and, uh, of course, Marjorie Dimes. All the best, uh, best of luck, and thank, thank you, you again for yeah, being here. Appreciate I think it. you were thank very you, informative. Thank you, thank you. I think it was wonderful. Uh, Poppy, we're gonna we're gonna have to go. Uh, I, I feel sick from those candies. <laughs> Justifiably <laughs> so. If that's what you try to do, you were there. Anyway, thank you so much. We'll be back in just a moment. Be right back. We're gonna pump it up. Okay, here we go. I'm pump doing the push-ups. Up. Oh, look at her go. That's one half. That's almost one. Here she goes. Well, we had Peter Holmes. What a guest <laughs> he, fr from that a, gym guy. Oh, Pop, okay, Poppy's up. just working her itself oh, to a frenzy. Look Amazing. Us, so. Look at these shirts from that gym guy. What a great guy. What a great guest. We hope that you'll <laughs> go to our website, www.aidfoundation.org, to get a hold of Mr. Peter Holmes and donate to, to, uh, to the March of Dimes, donate to that Wounded Warrior Project. Even more importantly at this point, that's the one that we're talking about really is, the, is that. Um, if you want to know more about your overall health and fitness, please contact Mr. Holmes. That's Peter Holmes at www.thatgymguy. Or I think we also have a, a, not only his website, but we have a phone number. Give him a call. He was a great guest. Yeah. I'm sure he'd love to hear from you there and was, know that you're out there. And some great information that he was, uh, that we were getting to about. And a free t-shirt. What a great guy. I yeah. Mean, and, my and, favorite guest of all time. And how the, uh, yeah. you know, our, our, our elders need to continue to, you know, walk, uh, get get out, get to the, well, go, go to the refrigerator, go know, to the mailbox. Know, don't take your car to the mailbox. Just drive there. So many significant things I mean, don't he drive. said. That during the course of this thing that really I that I related to but the one thing that stood out in my mind was if you stop moving you're dying yeah yeah I don't and I, I think that's that's very deep that but it, it's not philosophical it's the real deal well that's yeah the because all of our, our all of our uh, atoms are all moving all the time so well, yeah and if the eaves don't move eaves? the atoms won't know where to go oh you know and then you got that Adam <laughs> and Eve of problem <laughs> Oh, uh, you know what? I ha I do have this other funny thing that happened at the gym. The the instructors, I find, are not that good at counting, and that's what bums me at out. At counting? Yeah, counting. You mean like one, two, three. Yeah, counting? Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Yeah, because they'll all be like, and one and two and three and four, three more, two more, and two and one and five and six, nine more, ten more, and seven, three and two and nine, six more, ten more, and six. I'm like, hey, who taught you how to count, Rain Man? What is going <laughs> on with you people? <laughs> that is, you know, that's well done, Bobby, because I, I got to admit, that sounds like something I've heard in one of those workout <laughs> sessions. It really does. Good take on that. It yeah. really is. Um, listen, if you folks want to laugh, you go see Poppy Champlin. She's going to, her show's coming up real soon in Coventry. That's right, at, at Indigo. Indigo. And also, if you want to get in shape, if you want to help out the Matcha Dimes, if you want to help out the it. Wounded Warrior Project, call Peter Holmes. Great guy, great guest. We hope to have him back in the future. I know he'll come back. He was, he, he came at the moment's notice and really appreciate yeah, he was that great. as well. Great guest. And so get a hold of Peter. Uh, again, that's www.gymguy. Dot, dot you want to firm up, call them. firm up your chicken fat. There you go. That's what there you go. I, I want to make soup. I just got to wave it over the top firm. of a, Look, some I got a muscle. Water. Look at that. Look. Uh, wow. Right? I, yeah, I me, play me racquetball. Well, can I Look show it. my muscle? Go ahead. Show, show your. What do you got to take your shirt off? No, I don't have to show my. Take my shirt off to show my. Here, here it is. Here it is. What? Your jaw? My mouth. Oh. My mouth. Your tongue is supposed to be one of the strongest muscles in your mouth. I'm I mean, not, in I'm your mouth. I'm not even touching I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> nothing. Uh. Nothing. Uh, tongue in cheek, that was, and I'm not yeah. saying a word um, <laughs> at any rate. Listen. Well, that was we, fun. We had a good time. Yeah. We ate a lot of candy. We did. We, we talked about our moms and our dads, which is almost like our job here at the <laughs> Shop Show. Listen, we're getting, we, 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 it's coming up on the holiday season. We oh, have, boy. We have great, great. I hope you had a wonderful Halloween, a great Thanksgiving, a great Christmas. Yep. But please remember, all this conversation, all these things we do. Keep going to the gym. Yep, go to the gym and remember, your Uncle Ron here and Poppy. Aunt we're Poppy. Re we're reaching out to you. Yes. And we need you to reach back. Please. We'll talk to you and see you next time. Till then, God bless. Bye. <laughs>